Hi, my name is Jim Hackenberg, PGA golf professional and developer of the Orange Whip products. We're here at beautiful Greyhawk Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona with Stan Utley. PGA Tour winner, consistently ranked in the top 50 of the Golf Digest best instructors, and he's the short game guru. We're going to talk about the Orange Whip wedge. We've added a wedge head to the, the standardized Orange Whip shaft, the flexible shaft with the counterbalance. This was at Stan's request. He encouraged me to move forward with this to develop that short game action. I'm going to let Stan talk a little bit about this Orange Whip wedge. Well, Jim, I'm excited that you've added this product because I've made myself a prototype way back when, and it was really helping my students, particularly the ones that come that are, were most broke, because the guys that I work with that are struggling the most, they think they've tried everything, and sometimes they get to me at a last resort and don't realize that it's okay to let the club head swing free and have some action in your wrist. And what happens with most short game people that are struggling, they throw their arm at the ball and their arm lengthens out. Well, what happens is when they accelerate the grip by straightening their arm, they really lag the club head. And when the club head gets behind them, then they have to fall back and dip. And so with the orange whip wedge, I can get them to find this rhythm and feel the load and the unload of the club. One of the drills I have them do is I have them just stand here and start moving their body and watch the club load and then unload. Well, this end stays at home, that end starts swinging free. And if I can get them to do that and learn to not accelerate the grip, let the club head unload and really take advantage of this counterbalance. It's supposed to have you stay in the middle. It's not supposed to wave around. That's not the point of the counterbalance. All of a sudden, it can give them a feel that they haven't had maybe in years. Some people are like, well, that's how I did it when I was a kid and I chipped good. And they get that feel back, they start putting their words on it, and all of a sudden their chipping becomes easy again instead of feeling like uh, some of my guys come and they're like, they can't even get their friends to play with them anymore because they're too scared to stand around the green. Well, those guys are starting to chip their ball, and I love having a guy who's been trying this and saying, hey, by the way, I chipped in last week. That makes them some money and it makes them feel more confident about their game because all of a sudden they're back to sequencing their chipping and letting the club swing free. And once they have this action with the club, then they can switch back to their club and realize, wow, I don't have to shove the handle through anymore. I can swing the head and now they can let the head just hit these little soft pitches, gain some confidence. Stan, that's fantastic. I appreciate the influence on this because this is the part of the game that most of us need improvement and rhythm, timing, that swing, that free swinging is what we're all searching for. Well, I think when, when you developed the Orange Whip Trainer, I immediately saw it had a huge benefit of letting the student know how to load and unload the shaft and find their rhythm. Well, now that we have a wedge, they can have that same rhythm and touch even with the short club playing short shots. That's fantastic. Let's get ready to play with the Orange Whip products.